Greetings one and all, we are back and today I bring you another Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Once again, it's the 2022 Tin of the Pharaoh's Gods. Three Mega Packs, Super Rares, Ultra Rares and Prismatic Secret Rares. What could be better than that? As usual, I got this tin for really, really cheap, so fingers crossed we can make some profit on it. Let's get it open. Lebash. Here we go again, let's do it. The first pack of 18 cards, let's go. Hi, how are you? Can we get things kicked off with a great prismatic secret rare in this pack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the rare should be at the front. Very good. Followed by 12 commons, two supers, two ultras, and the prismatic secret rare. Pendransaction, Cybers. Rocket Caliber. I spell rocket wrong. Cool. Magic Key Locking. Again, like I said in the last video, I'm still not too familiar or keen on the Magic Key cards, really. Branded in High Spirits. Everyone is feeling very, very happy. B Trooper Squad, oh yeah. Straight in the B Trooper deck. And speak of the devil, another one. Heavy B Trooper Mighty Neptune. This must be one of the boss monsters of the B Trooper deck. Cannot be normal summoned, must first be special summoned by shuffling three of your banished insect monsters into the main deck. During the main phase of this card, its owner's control destroyed or banished by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one of the insect monsters you control, it gains a thousand attack. How nice. Magic E Duo, nice artwork there. EMR. Tribute one machine type monster, then target one card on the field for every 1,000 original attacker attributed monster. Destroy those cards. What's the machine type monster that has the highest original attack, I wonder? Is there a machine type monster that has 5,000 original attack? That would be mad. Gizmek Taniguku. The immobile intellect. A thoughtful machine frog. Chronomali and Magella Globe. It's a red version of our world. Fabled and Wraith. I prefer Fabled but Wraith. Constellar Caduceus. Cool, okay, are we getting to the super rares? Not yet. Expendable Die. Very nice, this card is part of the uh, the Warrior Digrepha storyline. Very cool, he's fighting against Despair from the Dark there. Awesome storyline, if you're not aware of it, you should check it out. Here we go, super rares. High Ritual Art. This card can be used to ritual summon any ritual monster from the deck. Does anyone still use rituals nowadays, I wonder? Slower Swallow. Not quite as good as the Faster Swallow. If two or more monsters with the same level are on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Slower Swallow once per turn this way. You can tribute this card to draw two cards instead of one or for your normal draw during the next draw phase. Not bad, not bad. Nice utility there. Fluanderese and Tokan. Nice. I know these are very, very strong in the current meta. Nice. Good first Ultra Rare. And the second one? Dragon Lark Perrin. Very nice. Okay. And the Prismatic Secret Rare in this first pack is... Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. Oh look, it's Rainbow Dragon. That's Crystal Beast card. If there are two or more different monster types among the level 10 or higher monsters on the field, shuffle all cards except this one from both players' hands, fields, and graveyards into the deck. Then each player draws five cards. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Crystal Beast monster and one field spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use it once per duel. Very nice. All right, next pack. Hi, how are that you? first one was a little bit of an L, not gonna lie. Not a great pack. Nothing overly inspiring, none of the sushi ship cards either, disappointingly. Sushi ship. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But hopefully this pack we can uh, we can turn things around again. Majestic Mirage. Some nice support for Stardust Dragon there. Zoroa, the Magistus Conflagrant Calamity. Very hefty name there. Magic E Dragon and Drabime. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Here we go. Gunkan Suship Shirao. These are the monsters we want to be seeing, these nice Gunkan Su ships. If you control a Gunkan Su ship Shari or an XYZ monster that has Gunkan Su ship Shari's material, you can special summon this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can special summon one Gunkan monster from your hand, except to this one. Then you can take any number of Gunkan Su ship Shari from your deck or graveyard and place them on top of your deck in any order. Nice card. Ice Jade Acti. I like the artwork on that card, looks good. Aero Pix 3. Very funny artwork there. Burn Up Counters. Oh, I wonder if these guys are themed around like a, a fitness kind of archetype. That's cool. I like that. There we go. B Troop Assault Roller. Nice. A nice 4 star 1600 attack B Trooper monster. Cordius the Triphasic Dealmon. Obelisk Impersonator. Despian Comedy. Got this guy a few times. Armed Dragon Thunder Level 5. Nice. Got this in the last 10. Still feels really good to get him again. Very cool. Guitar Gernard's Duinigis. A musical theme there, I like that. I like it a lot. I thought that was super rare there. Metal Foes Azordless. A fusion pendulum monster, wow. Look at that, it goes from purple to blue at the bottom. Very, very funky. Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol Sea Guide. They're no match for the sushi ships though. 
ZW, Pegasus Twin Saber. Nice, here we go, super rare time. If your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can special summon this card. You can target one Utopia monster you control, equip this card you control as an equip spell that gives it 1,000 attack. Once per turn, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can negate a monster effect activated in your opponent's field. Okay, and the next super rare? Live Star Twin Kisikil Frost. I love the artwork on these Live Star Twin cards, really, really good. Okay, and the ultra rares. Mimicking Maneater Bug. The upgraded Maneater Bug, we've got this guy already, very nice. Okay, and the finals ultra rare, the Breaking Ruin God. Oh, Obelisk, the big boy. Some nice support there for Obelisk. Okay, and the prismatic secret rare of this pack, what are we gonna get? Dramaturge of Despia. Nice card, it's again a little bit of an L, but uh, it's all part of the fun of opening trading cards, eh? Let's sleeve it up. All right, it's not looking overly good for this 10, but hopefully this third pack can save us. Come on. Believe in the heart of the cards. Smash like, subscribe if you're enjoying, which I hope you are. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, this last card here, hiding behind all the rest of them. It's gotta save us, it's gotta pull us out of this hole. Monster Assortment. Very nice, I like the artwork in this one. All those OG cards down there. Link Apple. What a random card design. I like it though, I like it. B Trooper Landing, nice. Very good. Here we go, Sioux Ship again. Gunkin Sioux Ship Uniclass Super Dreadnought. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. If this card is XE summoned, you can apply these effects in sequence based on the materials used. You can only use this effect once per turn. If you use Gunkin Sioux Ship Showery, you draw one card. If you use Uni, this card gains the ability to attack directly. Wow, for 2900 attack as well. Beastly. Once per turn during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Gunkin monsters you control special summon from the extra deck and negate their effects. Man, I am hungry. B Trooper Squad. Got a few of that one now, I think. Going straight in the B Trooper deck. Magicky and Maftia. Got this one as well. Don't feel overly strongly about it, really. There we go. Nice. Another Gunkan Sioux Ship. Ukura Class Dreadnought. Beautiful. Again, like the last one, if this card is XC summoned, you can apply these effects depending on what was used as the material. If you use Shari, you can draw one card. If you use Ikura, this card can make it a second attack during each battle phase. Nice. Once per turn, when your Gunkan Monster Special Summon from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Clearly, this Gunkan Sioux Ship Shari card must be really relevant to the kind of archetype. So many cards seem to mention Shari specifically. Specifically. Wind Witch Chimes. Love the artwork on this card, big fan. White Baking. Nice bit of Skull Servant support. This card name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard. If level 3 or lower zombie monster you control be destroyed battle or card effect, i.e. Skull Servant, you can discard this card instead. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand except White Baking. That are either Skull Servant or mention it, then discard one card. Nice bit of support there. Gizmek Naganaki, the Sunrise Signaler. Very elegant beast there. Gizmek Arakami, the Hailbringer Hog. Getting a lot of these Gizmek cards, cool. Carpiponika, Mystical Beast of the Forest. I love all these nature themed cards. They really do, they make you feel peaceful, don't they? Nice and, nice and at peace. Looking at this card, you can't be stressed. Too blessed to be stressed. Converging Will's Dragon. Not quite as uh, relaxing, that card. Here we go, super rare time. Sunvine Crossbreed. Tribute one link monster, then target one of the plant monsters in your graveyard. Special summon it, but negate its effects. Cool, okay, and the other super rare? Fluanderies and Empen, nice. Another Fluanderies card there, the nice penguins, very cool. Okay, ultra rare time, let's go, come on. War Rock Skylar, Skylar White. My name is Skylar White, yo. All right, and the second ultra rare and the final ultra rare of this tin, Contract with the Abyss. And the final prismatic secret rare of this tin, can it bail us out? Can we do it? Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring again, I don't believe it. Wow, okay. What a result. Again, we have been bailed out in the final card. Wow, what a final hit. Bosh. That makes up for the trash first two packs as well. All right, I'll see about the rest of them. Then we'll go take a look at all the cards we got. A few moments later. Okay, so for the rares, we've got Pen Transaction. Majestic Mirage, Monster Assortment. And then for the super rares, we've got High Ritual Art, Slower Swallow. ZW Pegasus Twin Saber, Livestar Twin Key Sikil Frost, Sunvine Crossbreed, and Fluanderies and Empen. And then for the Ultra Rares, we've got Fluanderies and Tokan, Dragon Lark Perrin, Mimicking Maneater Bug, The Breaking Ruin God, War Rock Skylar, and Contract with the Abyss. And then for the Prismatic Secret Rares, we've got Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, Dramaturge of Despia, and of course, the savior of this tin, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.